My name is Oshifes Olu Adam Lari. I'm a mechanic. Welcome to Exxon F1, also known as Formula One Column Africa. The sponsors of today's program are Rowness Resort, Plot 90714, Cavera Road, First Avenue, First Tack Town, Lagos. They have just the best services in hoteling. They, have, they, they are in a very nice and clean environment, great and conducive rooms, great bar. And we also have Valley Res student accommodation, 380 Bosman Street, Pretoria, South Africa. Teams Gadget is the best place for you to get your phones, laptops, games, every accessories for your phone. You can contact him. You, you, you'll find his number here. Today's news. Before we go into the final day of the testing today, we want to give you a quick news on Formula E. You know, like we've always told, like I've always said, um, we'll be giving you doses of gist, news, developments in all Formula races, the Formula 1, the Formula E, the Formula 2, 3 and 4. And if we have the chance of also bringing you news on the female female racing, W racing, you know, we'll be giving you that also. Um, before we, we go into testing, like I said, let me quickly give you the lowdown of what happened in Cape Town today, the Cape Town e -Pri. The Cape Town e -Pri was a drill. Antonio Felix da Costa won the race. It was a great race. This guy was on fire towards the end of the race. It was just crazy. His overtakes were just simply dangerous, very dangerous. And those overtakes um, took him to the podium to win the race. And that for me was one of the best Formula E races I have ever seen and that is a f and that should be a formula e race of the year contender for this season the the, the portuguese antonio felix da costa took everyone on a dangerous ride to delicate overtakes breaking late twice on the wall to take the lead twice towards the end of the race in cape town epre in south africa his teammate is the current championship leader in the formula e the Formula E race in South Africa was a proper street race that brought so many chills and grits. Watch out for, for, uh, for the gist to the next race in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the, the Sao Paulo E-Prix, e which will be taking place on the 25th of March 2023, will be the, the, the round six of the, of the Formula E E-Prix series. And um, let me just recap you on the, on the, on the first four races before this fifth one that, that was in South Africa today. The, the first race was um, January 14th in Mexico City. The, that was the round one. The round two was um, the Deria e Prix on 27th of January 2023 that, that took place in Deria, Saudi Arabia. The, the round three was also in the Deria e Prix. That was on the 28th of January 2023 in Saudi Arabia. And the fourth one took place in Hyderabad in India. That was um, 11th of February 2023. And this was um, the, the Cape Town e Prix that took place in South Africa, Cape Town today, the, the, the 25th of February 2023. The, the round seven and the round eight will, will be coming up in the, in, on 7th and 8th of April in Berlin, Germany. And um, we'll give you all the lowdown and the gist, but watch out for the gist on, um, on the round six in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, like I said, we'll be, we'll, we'll be talking about the, the, the final day of the Bahrain testing, but um, I won't want to make this video too long, so in the next video, which will be coming out immediately after this, you will be, you'll be getting the lowdown of what happened today in the final day of the testing in Bahrain. Like I said in my last video, we really want to build a community of, um, of not just engineers, drivers. We want to build a very good racing community in Formula 1, not just for one year, two, three years for longer years like 20 30 40 years and then looking on to people that would carry on the the betting i was asked them um, today 
about how expensive Formula One is. I can really tell you, Formula One is not, um, is not a child's play. It's a very, very expensive sport. It's a time management sport. And um, most times, only the rich can, um, most times, I didn't say at all times, can participate. And I can give you an example. Lance Stroll, the son of the billionaire Lawrence Stroll that owns um, Aston Martin. Yuki Tsunoda is a Japanese. His father is very, very rich. Shogun Yu, those guys come from a rich background. Nikita Ma Mazepin, the son of um, the owner of um, Ural Kali, fertilizers and agro products and petroleum, petrochemical products. But we still have some, some people that came from Mumbuga background, like um, Esteban Ocon, Louis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, and little of them that, that comes from very humble background. Uh, and as you all know, for some of you that, 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 that might be, be used to Louis Hamilton's story, it was not just because he was black, but it was a very tough, tough, it was very tough growing up for him in the Formula One, or should I call it um, the cutting category. His father was his mechanic. They had to, to, to work hard. His father w w was working two jobs and still his mechanic and still his coach and everything to him. And, and um, to put even a cut on the track for racing is very, very expensive. But we are not, like I said in the last video, we are not looking at doing it in a day or in a year. We are looking at building a community in which we can get donations, work together, get people that would raise, televise it, from there get youths, build something great, and create a greater future, not just for Nigeria, not just for Africa, but for our own individuals. Because um, there are lots of opportunity in Formula One. Um, it's not compulsorily you become a race driver. You can be a mechanic. You can be a data analyst. You can be a marketer in the, in the Formula One setting. And um, it depends on where you want to be. Like I said, it's not for, for, it's not for our own generation, but it's for the, gener but, but, but for the generation coming behind us to do great things in the sport, to be part of the sport and to also bring the, 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 the sport as an opportunity to create an enabling environment, job opportunities, and also bring a race or any other West African state and um, having a Formula One driver. We might have a Formula One mechanic, we might have um, the first African Formula One mechanic going to two, three. We might have um, African data, uh, data analyst doing some other jobs, CFD, race engineer, but the aim is getting a Formula One driver. Because as, as of now, until the, there's expansion in the grid, which might come in 2026, there are still 20 people, 20 individuals driving 20 cars on the grid. And we know how difficult it is to get the job. But when we, we start from somewhere, we get people in the next few years getting this done, we will get there. And I would like to hear from you, to work with you. Thank you very much. God bless you.